thing about being a goalie? Um, I think the hardest part is because you're alone. It feels really lonely sometimes when you play in goal because obviously everyone else has got people either side of them. Um, and obviously you're the last person, you know, the ball goes through. So I think it's hard because you feel a bit lonely sometimes. Um, but apart from that, the rest of the position is really enjoyable. But yeah, I would say you get a little bit lonely sometimes. I can see. <laughs> what does your routine look like before a game? Um, I don't really have a routine. I'm quite laid back. So, I mean, when I, once I get to the stadium, everyone else likes to go and walk out onto the pitch and have a look around. But I prefer just to stay inside and just be on my own for a little bit. I think being a goalkeeper, like I said, because you're alone most of the time, I think I really embrace that. And yeah, I enjoy just staying by myself and just thinking about the game on my own. I don't really speak much in the changing room or, you know, interact with many people. I just like to be in my own zone. Since becoming a pro soccer player, what has been your most favorite place you have had the chance to visit? Oh, that's a tough one. I'd say, so I played in Chile um, when I was younger and I managed to go there twice. Um, and the people were so friendly there. The country was beautiful. And yeah, like everyone just made us feel really welcome when we went and played. So I think, yeah, Chile was a really, really nice place to go to. Maybe I can visit one day. Yep, yeah, you can. Rebecca, what is your daily motivation? My daily motivation. Um, I just want to be the best that I can be. Um, I've obviously been playing for so long. I was well, I was started pro when I was fourteen. So, um, you know, I've had a I had a long career so far. So I think just continuing to push and just to be the best version of myself. Um, and also for for kids like you who who want to play football in in the future and who want to be pros, I think just paving the way and and showing you guys that it's you know everything is possible when it comes to football. What do you do to overcome fear? You've put me on the spot a little bit with that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just like not to think about things. Um, so, if, like for example, the game tomorrow, I haven't really thought much about it in too much detail. Um, I won't really think about it until it's right on top of me. So, I think I like to just I read books, um, maybe watch a show on Netflix if you're into series and stuff like that. Um, obviously, speak to friends, family. I like to just have that kind of section of my life where it's not football related so that side of it is kept clear that's great advice do you play football um very little i just right. started this summer okay that's good do you play for a team or are you just training i'm training training nice rebecca i want to thank you for your time and your words of wisdom today it has been such a pleasure i wish you good luck on your next match and i will be watching Thank you. Thank you, Nat. Bye. Bye. Thank you.